Hi, I'm Troy Lindquist, meteorologist with NOAA's National Weather Service. As part of Severe Weather Awareness Week, I wanted to discuss the threat of flash flooding caused by thunderstorms and heavy rain. Areas susceptible to flash flooding may not be easily recognized because they are not located near a river or are usually dry. However, when heavy rain begins to fall during a brief summer thunderstorm, runoff can quickly fill a dry wash with a raging torrent of water. I'm standing in a dry wash right now in southern Idaho that has been the site of several damaging and deadly flash floods. It's dry right now, but it only took about 30 minutes from the onset of heavy rain for this area to become very dangerous during the last major flood, which happened here on September 5, 2013. Low water crossings are particularly dangerous. These are locations where water may flow across a low spot in the road during a flash flood as happened here in the summer of 2013 and 2007, sweeping cars off the road. There are literally hundreds of similar locations across the rest of Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. The key safety message that we would like you to remember is to turn around, don't drown, anytime you encounter water flowing across a road. You're running late, and your path is blocked by water crossing the road. It doesn't look that deep, so you decide to drive through it. A bad decision. And it may be 